questions that I get asked the most is, when do artists need to get an agreement in writing? And really when a handshake deal is not enough. The real answer to that question is that you should always get it in writing because things can go wrong later. And if you have it in writing, you have proof of an agreement signed by both parties. However, there are a few situations where it is even more essential to get an agreement in writing to avoid potential problems that come up when the fame and the money kicks in later. The first is when you are co-writing songs with other people. It is absolutely imperative to have a songwriter split agreement. A songwriter split agreement is a short agreement that outlines who the writers of the song are, what percentages of the song they contributed, and how the ownership and the royalties are being split between those writers. Now there are longer versions of agreements that can be drafted for co-writers. However, the songwriter split agreement is the minimum type of agreement that you should have. This agreement is really important because it helps to prove who wrote the song and what shares the song is owned if somebody comes later and tries to claim partial ownership of the song that actually wasn't a writer on that song. So I'm going to tell you an actual story of something that happened a few years back. There was a band that had just gotten signed to a label. They were in the studio writing songs for their first album. And as is fairly typical, they had some friends visiting in the studio. Some of the band members' girlfriends were in the studio. And it was a hang. That band ended up earning quite a bit of fame. And one of those songs that they wrote in the studio actually became a big hit and earned a lot of money. Well, fast forward some time later, one of the band members' girlfriends, who by this time had become an ex-girlfriend, called up the band and said that she was supposed to get 10% ownership of the song, that they had promised that to her for contributing a, a line in the lyric or something like that. And the band said that they never promised her any ownership share, and she may or may not have even contributed that particular line. However, this woman threatened to sue the band for her 10% share that she felt she was entitled to. So the big issue was this woman actually didn't have proof that she wrote that line or whatever it was in the song, but the band didn't have proof that she didn't write that part of the song. So it was a he said, she said thing, and rather than going into a big costly litigation over it and having to defend a lawsuit, which is really expensive, the band had to give this woman the 10% that she wanted to keep her quiet, basically, and make the problem go away. Now, if the band had completed a songwriter split agreement at the time that they wrote that song, they would have then had something in writing showing who the writers of the song were and in what percentages they own the song, and since the songwriter split agreement would have been completed at the time the song was written, it would have been clear that only the people's names that were on that agreement were the actual writers of the song. And so then when this ex-girlfriend came back to the band, if her name wasn't on that sheet, the band actually had proof that, look, we completed this agreement at the time the song was written. These were the only writers of the song, and she was not one of them. And as a music attorney, for me, one of the most tragic things that I actually see happen really often is when someone has to give up a share of ownership to their work, to their music, to someone that actually didn't do anything to earn it. How do you get these things in writing? The best option is to hire an experienced music attorney like myself to draft these agreements specifically to the situation that you're in. The next best option is to use a service like Indie Artist Resource at IndieArtistResource.com. Download the templates offered through Indie Artist Resource. There's contract templates that are offered, they're high quality drafted by myself, an experienced music attorney. And they come with instructions so you know how to fill out the agreement and take care of those issues yourself. The very last resort is to potentially write something out or do something over email to just get whatever verbal agreements are in place in a written form. They don't stand up like a contract will. 
but at least it's better than nothing. So if you need a songwriter split agreement, producer agreement, a band agreement, or any other agreement drafted, reviewed, or negotiated, or you need counsel on these issues, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can do so through my website at themusicindustrylawyer.com, and I'd be happy to assist you. Don't forget to sign up on my mailing list while you're there to get insights and articles that I only share in email. See you next time.